Hello, this is Tom. Welcome to Napco Video Tech Tips. Today I'm going to be going over how to set up a test timer in the 9600 panel. This applies to 9600, Gemini 9600, Gemini 3200, and uh, Gemini X255 panels. So first you want to open up your account. Alright, first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that your phone number is set. I have this set for a contact ID, so I don't have to do too much with your codes as far as what is sent to Central Station. Next thing you want to do is make sure that your subscriber ID numbers are in. You have your area one, which always has to be inserted. And then you have your CS account number. This one is important because this has to do with your test timer. Another place you have to go to is your systems tab. So you go into your systems, you go into system reporting and outputs, and you don't have to put a code in there unless you're using a 4.2 format. Since I'm using contact ID, all you have to do is go in there and click on report on alarm telco one. Now you have to set up the schedule. So you need to go into your last tab, your schedule assignments. Okay, in your description area, you can just put in test timer. You put your area, which is your primary area, even if you have more than one area. You have your event. So you have multiple choices in there. You want to click on that. You want to drop it down. And then you want to go into test timer. Now these are how you set up your different options for your test timer. You can do monthly, you can do daily, you can do weekly, you can do by date. So I'm going to set it up for a daily test timer. So I'm going to click on weekly. Now the date and the week of the month become a little bit grayed out because we're dealing with days of the week now. At this point I'm going to go down and click on this and then I want it to come in every day so you want to make sure that you put a check mark in every box and then you have your start time so let's say I want it to go in at 1 a.m. you don't have to put a test uh, uh, end time in there you want to make sure you go up and say do file save work and then exit your schedules so at this point you're pretty much set up for a test timer one thing you should do is if you go into your status control you want to make sure that you set your clock make sure that your clock is right if you have your computer set up for automatic time selection in your dealer settings then you do not have to do this And that's pretty much it for the test timer. 3200, 9600, and 255, they're all the same. Uh, 816, 1632, and 1664 is a little bit different. I'll do that on my next video. Thanks for visiting NAPCO Video Tech Tips.